to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett land and all of you around the world listen to the sound of my voice. It is a cold day here in Gwinnett County. It is 39 degrees, only going up to a high of about 56, so it is cold, y'all. And it's so funny, whenever I say that, people always say stuff like, you call this cold when you come from Jersey? Yeah, it's cold because I've been here almost nine years, so 39 degrees for me is cold. I know for some people, especially in Jersey right now, I don't even know what the temp is in Jersey right now, but... 39 would be considered really nice. But for Georgia, right this minute, it's considered cold. Even my daughter said it this morning. I said, is it cold outside? She's like, yeah, it's like 30. It's not, she's like, no, nah, not really. It's like 30-something degrees. I'm like, it's cold. So it's a beautiful day. I ain't complaining. Listen, I'm not complaining. It is a beautiful day nonetheless. We woke up this morning. God set us on our way. He gave us all these amazing abilities. He showed us some grace. I am not, I am not, I am not complaining. So you're not getting complaints out of me today. All right, all right. All right, it's National Espresso Day. So if you want a shot to get you pumped up, get you a shot of espresso. I've tried that one time. It was so bitter. I listen, I don't I don't do coffee though. Like I'm not a coffee person. Like I would drink a coffee culotte in the summertime, but I'm really not a coffee person. But I did take a shot of espresso one time because I wanted to see what the hoopla was about. And I was like, oh my God, that is really bitter. It's like it's like taking a shot of liquor. Which is like to me like the same. I, I know for coffee drinkers and li- liquor drinkers are like it's not the same. Well, a shot of both for me is not good. Let me just say that it doesn't help me at all. If I take a shot of alcohol, I'm out for the count. Like I'm just not. I'm just not a drinker. I'm not a drinker of alcohol. I'm not a drink of coffee. Neither one. So I've tried a shot of both and didn't like either. Let me just say that I I didn't like either. Um, yeah, so I took a shot of tequila one time. Literally, I was, it was, I was young too, y'all. I didn't have kids. I was, a, that's when I was in my younger days and, and it was New Year's Eve and my friends and I, it was my sister-in-law and my friends, we were all at a New Year's Eve party. And so they drink, I'm not a drinker, but I'm, I'm, I decided, you know, I'm gonna be a big girl tonight and I'm gonna take a shot of tequila with them. And let me tell you what happened. I took that shot and they took a picture of me out for the count. They took a couple of shots. I took one. I literally, I was out for the count. They took a picture. I was like out. It was crazy. At the club. Like sitting, I was in a chair though, but I was sitting in the chair. Somebody took, I wish they could find that picture. It was crazy. I know I was very hot after I took the shot. And I remember just, they showed me the picture. I was just sitting there. I had a chicken wing in my hand. It was crazy. It looked crazy. And this was years ago. This is my early 20s. So I'm talking about years and years. I didn't have any kids. Let me just say that. So that was so many years. I think I might've been 22. That's how young I was. But anyway, not an alcohol person, not a coffee person. So there you go. It's also National Eat a Cranberry Day. Like, why would you want to just eat a cranberry by itself? I don't, I don't think, I've never seen just a cranberry by itself. I have not. I know some people think like, what? No, I've seen cranberry when they're mashed up in a can. And even the can that has like, that have like the whole cranberries in them, like in the cranberry. No, I don't like those. Just give me the regular cranberry. I'm good. But I've, I've never seen a real cranberry outside of the cranberry can that's in the grocery store. Now, here's my favorite of all. Here's my favorite of all. National Cashew Day. Yes. I'm going to buy me some, too. I'm going to buy me some cashews. I love cashews. I've always loved I love cashews. I love pecans. I used to eat macadamia nuts like crazy until I had an, an, um, an allergic reaction to them. When I had that reaction, I'm like, okay, you don't have to tell me twice, buddy, bro. Mm-mm. I love, I used to eat cashews and I used to eat uh, macadamia nuts all the time. And someone went to Hawaii. I was working at the hospital in Newark, New Jersey. Shout out to my family, peep, peeps in Newark. I was working at United Hospital in Newark and this young lady, her name was Brenda. She went to Hawaii for a vacation with her, I think with her husband. And everybody knew I love macadamia nuts. So she brought me back a, a pack of three. They were little cans, three little cans of macadamia nuts. And I had a good time and I ate some. And I had an, an allergic reaction. And when I had that reaction, I was like, no, no, no. Won't be eating those again. Listen, you don't have to bite me but one time. You ain't got to keep biting me. I ain't got to. I'm going to learn the lesson the first time out. Let me, let me tell y'all another quick story about learning a lesson. So, y'all heard me saying it's not a good thing. So, please do not bash me. I love butter, right? And so, Crisco came out years ago. I didn't have any kids. This was, this was, this how long ago this was. 
Crisco came out with some butter flavored Crisco. And I'm thinking, oh my God, it must taste like butter. And it did. So I had cooked chicken. One of the many times I cook, I fried some chicken. And I decided, because I like the taste of butter, I was going to fry the chicken in the butter Crisco. Well, I fried the chicken in the butter Crisco. And I think the butter Crisco was really for like baking. I fried the chicken in the butter Crisco. It was delicious. I was playing bingo with my mom and my aunt. We were at the bingo hall. I, I like bingo. I like to play bingo. Yes, I know that's an old lady thing, but I like playing bingo. We're at the bingo hall, and I've been playing bingo since I was young because I like bingo. I'm talking about like 19, 20 years young. I, that's how long I've been playing bingo. I like bingo. I play bingo games. Um, when they have a bingo scratch-off, I tell my husband, give me a bingo scratch-off. I like bingo. I like bingo. But anyway, I'm at the bingo hall with my aunt and my mom, and all of a sudden, my stomach gets so sick, and I was like, oh, my God, my, I think I got to throw up. And I go flying to the bathroom, and I'm out there in the bathroom early because I ate all this butter fried chicken. And I hear my mom go, bingo, bingo. Those were my boys that were winning. So I was too sick because from eating all the butter Crisco from the chicken, I missed. Well, I, was, I won because it was my board. But when I got back, I had some money. But let me, I said all that to say I never ate butter Crisco again, ever. Unless somebody fed it to me tonight, I didn't know. I never ate it again. So you don't have to, you don't have to sting me twice. No, no, no. Once you sing me once, I'm going to believe you. Yep, yep. It's hurt. It hurts. I'm going to believe you. Yes. So, I said all that to say. I ain't, nope. I ain't going to do it. All right, let's get on with these horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology Mike Thousand for today, Tuesday, November the 23rd. Yes, it's the 23rd, y'all. You got two more days in the week. Got one more day and wake up, and it's going to be Thanksgiving. I know y'all ready for it. Some people are like, I'm ready for it. Yes, I'm ready for it, too. <sighs> it's, it's gonna be a little rough but i'm ready because i'll still be with the rest of my family and i know my mom is gonna be with us in spirit because we're going to albany georgia where we laid her to rest and we're going to visit her grave and we're going to tell her how much we love and miss her all right we're going to kick it off like we always do and that is with aries try not to upset others with your plans try not to allow superiors or those in a higher position to take advantage of you you are going through a period of questioning. What are you questioning, Aries? Are you questioning your life? Are you questioning your marriage, your career, you know, your the, the, the life you want? What are you questioning? You're going through that period. I know. Listen, I feel it. I feel the energy. I feel the energy right now. It's so much energy out here right now. Because people want answers. They want to know that they do, they're doing something that matters. They want to be on purpose. I feel the energy. When I tell y'all the energy is everywhere, it's everywhere. Outside of all the wackos we got out there, we got all this good energy floating around. But it's questioning in the energy. Yeah, yeah. Now, here's the thing, Aries. Try not to let a lot of your superiors or those in a higher position take advantage of you. Because, you know, you got a good nature. You got a good nature, Aries. And sometimes people take that and they, they, and they do the wrong things with it. But they can only do the wrong things with your good nature. If you allow them to, you know what I'm saying? Try not to upset others with your plans. Here's the thing. If people don't like your plans, is that that's their problem it has nothing to do with you, you know, unless it directly affects them. If it doesn't directly affect them, they'll get over it. All right. All right. Taurus extravagance will be a problem. Your ability to do detailed work will dazzle those who are less creative. Your position may be in question. If you haven't been pulling your weight, yeah, look, don't be so extravagant. Don't be so flashy today because it's going to be a problem for you, Taurus. You know, stay low-key today. Today is not the day to flash. It's not the day to bling. It's not the, it's not the day to floss. It's not the day to shine. Relax. Tomorrow you can do all that. Today, not so much. It's not going to be good. It's going to be a problem. Just trying to help you out. Gemini. Stabilize your, your own position by locking up your savings. Opportunities to travel will be favorable in terms of money-making connections. Romance may be likely if you do travel. All right, so you got some opportunities for money making. I thought I turned that freaking thing off. That's my soul. Listen, I've been in here turning off notifications all morning. Apparently, I didn't cut. I didn't cut all of them off. I, and I said this morning, I gotta turn it off. But anyway, Gemini, you can travel today. You gonna have money making opportunities and romance if you travel. So you gotta travel. I know it's the, it's the holiday, so you probably are gonna travel. But guess what's gonna happen? You can have love and money. Woo, how nice is that? Both. Cancer, if you take on too much, you will find yourself in a matrix dome. Yeah. You can, be, you can beautify your surroundings by renovating or redecorating. Family members will not be happy with the amount of time you are spending away from home. 
All right, beautify and decorate, redecorate. Here's the thing. You got two days before the family show up. What can you have done in two days? That means today and tomorrow, and then they show up on, well, if you're like me, you're going to show up tomorrow. <laughs> I'm showing up tomorrow. I just want to get there a day early um, because I know um, everything is going to be closed on Thursday, and I'll be in the house all day, and I want to just, you know, ride around Albany. Albany is my home. You know, it is my home. And I love Albany. That's why I go back as much, as often as I can. So I want to get there a day early so I can ride around. Plus, I got to go pick my brother up some hot dogs. Because he's not going to get there until Thursday. And so he has already said to me, go to Jimmy's. So it's a, it's a, it's a hot dog stand that's been in Albany since I can remember. And I was a little girl. And we used to eat those hot dogs. My grandmother used to go, to, so they call it to town. My grandmother used to go to town every Monday and pay bills. And she would come back with hot dogs and donuts. And so the donuts were homemade hot donuts in a brown paper bag where you could see the grease coming through. And she would buy all these hot dogs. And so we love Jimmy Hot Dogs. It's been around forever. My brother has told me, listen, when you get there, give me 20 hot dogs because I'm not going to get there to Thursday and they're probably going to be closed. So I have to get them hot dogs. Yeah. There you go. Leo, you may have problems with skin, bones, or teeth if you haven't been taking proper care of yourself. Make amends if you can. Curl up with a good book or go for a drive in the country. The last two things, Leo, those are things that I love. A drive in the country or a good book. Yes, that sounds amazing. Ooh, that sounds so good. I love that right there. So you do that. You're going to feel great if you do. The good book is kind of cold. So maybe the good book is, is going to be good for you. Unless you're outdoorsy. If you're the outdoorsy type and you don't mind the cold, go for the drive. But if you like me and you want to get a nice cup of hot chocolate or hot milk tea, I like milk tea. Don't Listen, don't judge me. I like milk tea. I know some people like, you put milk in tea? Yes, I do. I go to the store and I get the flavored creamers and I put it in my tea. French vanilla in my tea. Yes, I do. I'm going to make a nice hot cup as soon as I get finished this show. I do. Virgo, you may have more to do with children today. Keep an open mind. You may want to tell someone how you really feel. You'll be tempted to shop till you drop. Listen. Listen, Virgo. I know. I know. I know you tempted. I know you want to drop, you want to shop. Listen, I know Black Friday is coming, Small Business Saturday is coming, Cyber Monday is coming. I want to I want to shop till I drop. Listen, I could think of some things that I want to buy. Do you hear what I'm saying? Oh, but I won't. I will not shop till I drop, and you shouldn't either. I'm not trying to tell you how to spend your money, but think about January because it's coming. Listen, I don't know why people lose their minds Black Friday through Christmas and then January show up and they act like they didn't know it was coming. Don't do that to yourself. Do not do that to yourself. I'm just trying to help you out, Virgo. I want to shop. I get it. Don't do it. All right, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after the sun to give you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Michael Thyssen. Stay tuned. <laughs> It's been a while, haven't talked since July You've been on my mind, don't hang up I know it's been some time, since I called you mine You've been on my mind, don't hang up Maybe I'm a little bit jealous, haven't told my friends we ended it Yeah, I know that it's wrong Maybe it's a little bit selfish calling you up when I'm wasted When I know that you moved on Is she in your arms right now? Tell me is she gonna stay the night? Tell me is she in your arms right now? Is she in your arms tonight? Like I used to In your arms tonight 
just a little bit selfish calling you up when I'm wasted when I know that you moved on is she in your arms right now It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the daily horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen. We're going to pick it up with Libra. You're going to have trouble persuading others to accept your ideas and opinions. Try not to let emotions interfere with your completion of your work. Take a different approach. Make an offer they just can't refuse. Yes, I got an offer the other day, y'all, for something that I just could not refuse. It was so crazy. It was out of nowhere. So, y'all heard me say on the show that I, um that I buy a bunch of domain names and what happens is I have a great idea and so that I have a great idea and when I have these great ideas I buy the domain names so I always look at my domain account and shake my head because I spend so much money on domain names it's, it's unbelievable to me and so the other day I think it was Friday no it wasn't Friday I think it was Thursday I got an email from somebody saying they were from GoDaddy and that somebody wanted to buy one of my domain names, right? And I was like, this is a joke. I thought it was a joke. I really did. And I was like, this is a joke. But sure enough, I signed into my GoDaddy account and I looked and they wanted to buy one of my domain names. It was a podcast domain name. It was crazy. And I was like, holy crap. So I, so I sent the girl back. She was a broker. I was like, this is exciting, but I don't even know how much my, my domain name is worth. So GoDaddy has a um, calculator that tells you how much the how much the domain name is worth. And um, I went back and said, hey, it's worth this amount, but I'll take this amount, which is more than, than it was actually worth. And so she went back to her person, and the person came back and said they were offering me over half of what I was asking. I was like, I paid $8.96. Yes, you can get it. So I said I'll let Libra to say, listen, take a different approach. Make an offer they just can't refuse. Because trust me, when I got that that offer, now I'm just waiting for my payment to go on through the process. It's crazy. I was like, oh my God. Like, I can't believe somebody just bought one. Now, let me just say this. It was a really good domain name. And I was having some some um, hesitation about giving it up until, until they made me that offer that I just could not refuse. But I was having some hesitations because, you know, my mind, I'm like a hoarder of domain names. I'm just, I'm just trying to tell you the truth. But anyway, they made me a great offer that's going to allow me to buy some Christmas gifts yes, without spending any of my other money. I'm excited about that. So that's exciting. That was really crazy to y'all. I was like, oh my God, out of the clear blue. You know what I mean? I've been buying domain names forever. I have one domain name that I've probably had about as, as long as GoDaddy been out. So I don't, I've had that domain name so long and I, re, I have two like that, that I just refuse to let go. One of them is on Sister Inc., I've been at sisterinc.com for a very long time because I had a company called Sister Inc. And I kept it. The other one is my sister's business, right? And that was that was a domain name I had because I was starting, um, I, my goal was to start a nonprofit and um and, and help women start businesses. And I and I have not given up either one of those those dreams, right? I just haven't, I just haven't um I just haven't done anything with them. But those are two dreams, like Sister Inc. and my sister's business. Um, just like Miss Boss um, Media, which is, I have Miss Boss tattooed on my arm. I've been had that one, that name for at least 14 years. So the other names had to be before that because I got this, I got this tattoo when I was 40 and I just launched Miss Boss um, Media. So yes, I've been in the media business for a long time and I love it. All right. Anyway, make them, make them offer Libra, make them offer Scorpio. Ver ver verbal abuse may lead to walkouts. Don't make any rash statements you may regret later. You can expect changes in your financial situation as well as in your status. You are likely to encounter new partners if you take short trips. Now look, look, look Scorpio, I hope that the, the financial changes that you're going to see in your status and your fin the changes in your status and your finances, I pray that they're good ones for you. I really do. I want you to make good changes. I want, I want you to have good changes that change your financial trajectory of your life and your future and your status. Good ones, though. And if you're a good person, good things will happen. All right? And then, and on the flip side, if you're looking for new partners, whether it be business or in relationship-wise, you might want to take a short trip. It's, it's the holiday season. Just jump in your car and drive. It may be short across town. It's a short trip. If you got to leave your house and go somewhere, that's a short trip. 
It didn't say you had to leave the state or the country. It just said, take a short trip. Going to the next town over could be a short trip. Sagittarius, self-improvement could bring amazing results. This could be a serious relationship. Your hard work and dedication will pay off. So stick to your guns and do a job. Do your job well. Yeah, self-improvement could bring amazing results. Yes. Listen, I got up this morning. I talked to my daughter. I did some meditations. I feel amazing. I drank a green smoothie. It was disgusting, but I drank it anyway. And it started to make me feel like, ugh, but I drank it. Why? Because I'm on self-improvement. When I get finished a show, I will have lunch. Whew, trying to change some things. I'm trying to change some. I'm starting now. Like, I'm starting before the holiday. I'm not going to wait till the beginning of the year and put out my resolutions and all. I'm starting right now. So it's not like, oh, you just started because it's the new year. Nope, I started before the holidays. I didn't do all that stuff during the holidays. and like, okay, now I'm going to start. No, I'm starting right now. Capricorn. Be sure to spend time helping children with projects that are too difficult for them to accomplish alone. Deal with in-laws today. Try not to allow superiors or those in a high position to take advantage of you either, Capricorn. Don't do it. Say no. No, 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 no. I have a sorority sister. She says she has a real hard time saying no to the point where they bought her a button to put on her desk. And so instead of her having to say no out, out of her mouth, she hit the button and it says no for her. That's serious, y'all. That's some serious stuff right there. I learned to say no when people told me no. Yep. When people told me no, and I used to say yes all the time. Not all the time. but I And I didn't say yes just because I was like an easy person. I would do things because I felt like I was, I was opposed to from my heart. And then I started to ask people for help with things with my business. And they just told me no. They told me stuff like, I'll think about it. I'm like, think about it. And when I say stuff, I ask for $59. That's what I ask for. When Georgette and I launched the doll company, I went to family and friends and I said, hey, I need you guys to pre-order this doll so we can get the doll manufactured. The doll's been manufactured in Hong Kong. And I went to the same people who I had, who I had done things for over and over and over again without question, without, any, not, without asking anything in return, just because it came from the heart. And I just knew that, you know, when it was time for me to ask, and the only, only time I asked was for my business. That was it. I asked people for help, and they said straight out. Some said, no, I can't do it. I won't do it. I don't see the... It was crazy. I could not believe it. That's when I learned how to say no. And I don't say no just for the sake of saying no. I say no to things I really don't care about doing. And so, you know, and then people say I'm mean because of that. So, listen, I don't want to do it. People told me no. They didn't think twice about it. It was like, no... Or I'll think about it. And those very same people to this day does not own one of my dolls. The very same people to this day. The dolls are 21 years old. They don't own one. Nope, they do not. And I thought that was nuts. But that, that taught me how to say no. And it taught me how to say no and understand that I don't always have to say yes. And neither do you, Capricorn. You don't always have to say yes to people. Right? Because... If it's something that you don't really feel like you want to do and it doesn't help or benefit you, or and I'm not just saying I do things because it's gonna help or benefit me, because I don't. Because a lot of this, and I want to say some, I want to say the other word, but a lot of the stuff that I do don't benefit me at all. And I still do a lot of stuff for a lot of people, but there are things that I just that I just really don't want to do. Like if I'm laying down and I really don't want to do something, I'm not gonna get up and do it because I don't want to do it. So I'm gonna say no. You know, if I'm relaxing with my family. And it's something that I just really don't want to do. I'm going to say no. If it's something I don't believe in, I'm going to say no. Um, and so it taught me to say no. I know that was a long a long answer, Capricorn. But I just felt like somebody needed to hear that. They, it's okay to say no. All right? All right. Aquarius, your mate needs extra attention and is feeling rather insecure when you're not in sight. Ugh, God, God bless you, Aquarius. Your support and concern will help. Make changes in your domestic scene. Secret entries could get it, get you into trouble. See, that's why they ain't see you, Aquarius, because you over there with some secret entries. Not that, not that person over there feeling all insecure because you over there really checking out the secret entries. Do not do that. Now, I don't know what your relationship is like right now, but you might want to give it some extra attention right now. I'm just telling you, forget the secret entry. It's a secret for a reason. Don't do it. How about that? Right? You got somebody at home who's feeling a little, little insecure because you're not there. They can't see you. They can't lay eyes on you because you over there in the corner with the secret entry. It's a secret for a reason. Don't do it. Get out the corner. Go on over. Let me tell you something. I keep telling y'all this. Jody, Jody will come home. You will come home and Jody be done got your girl and gone. 
and the clean up woman is around the corner just sweeping down the sidewalk, just waiting for you to like leave so she can clean up woman. Is a woman who I'm trying to tell you now. My mother used to say play that song all the time. Ain't no sense in going home. Jody got your gal and gone. That's a song. I'm trying to help y'all out now. Just stop playing. Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces. You can lose money or precious belongings if you aren't careful. Ooh, fish, we don't like to lose anything. So be careful. Look into, an, look into any educational activities involving the whole family. Don't rely on others to handle the workload. I ain't relying on nobody. For real, I'm not. I'm doing my own thing. I know that's not good either, y'all. Listen, I'm a business owner. And sometimes as a business owner, you have to turn over the reins of other folks so you can move and scale. I'm in the process of trying to figure out how to do that now because I'm in the process of scaling the business. And sometimes it's just hard to let go because maybe I'm just a little bit of a control freak. Just a tad bit. Just a little bit. Not very much, though. So I don't really rely on people to do my work, for real. I pretty much do it all myself, which is not good because then I'm burnt, burned out sometimes. In the meantime, I'll be watching my coins, though. And you might want to watch your coins and precious belongings to fish because you could lose them if you aren't careful. Now, all that, you know, looking to educational activities about involving the whole family, I, I don't know. I try to get, I'm, in, I'm taking some classes right now. I try to get my husband to do it. I, would, I wouldn't even waste my time telling my daughter. I shouldn't have wasted my time telling him because he's like, uh huh. Like, a girl, leave me alone. I'm not doing that. All right, that's all the horoscopes I got for you today. I'm going to try to be here tomorrow, but I'm traveling tomorrow. So, the chances are I may not be here to give you your horoscopes. If I can jump on real quick to do that, I will. Um, even if I'm a little bit late, I may just try to just come on just to give you your horoscopes. Um, but if I can't, I'll be back Thursday morning before we eat dinner, okay? To bring you more of your horoscopes, brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thyssen. But tomorrow I will be traveling, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. Now let's get on to some news you can use. So let me let me just say this, y'all. I didn't know how rich Jeff Bezos really was to like right now. I knew he was rich, right? But I just didn't know how rich. And so he donated a hundred million dollars to President President Obama's foundation to um, honor. Um, civil rights leader who passed away, John Lewis, right? He wanted to have him build a, um, he wanted to, he wanted to have the, the, uh, the foundation put up something in honor of John Lewis. So he donated a hundred million dollars. And I was like, okay, well, he's a billionaire. A hundred million is not, you know, it's not, probably not a big deal. That's what I said to myself. And then I started reading the article in the AJC. That's the Atlanta Journal Constitution. I'm reading the article, right? I didn't know how rich he really was to like right now. But here's what I also didn't know. I didn't know how rich Elon Musk was until like right now. I knew they were rich. I knew they were uber rich. I knew that. Did not know how rich they were. Anyway, Jeff Bezos, for, for, and they, some, people, um, some people call him Bezos. I call him Bezos. Jeff Bezos, who is the founder of Amazon, <laughs> one of my favorite places. Oh, I know. Yeah. Am Let me tell you why I like Amazon before I get to this story. I like Amazon because it's convenient. It really is. I need things. I don't have time to get to them. All I got to do is pop my phone. I open up the Amazon app and buy in a few days. It's at my house. That's why I love Amazon. And everything is on Amazon. And I know it's, a, it's, it's a, for some people hate Jeff Bezos and they hate Amazon. For me, I like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But anyway, Jeff Bezos gave President Obama private foundation $100 million yesterday. The gift, the largest yet the Obama Foundation has received, yeah, $100 million. Now, he wants them to take that money and put up, um, he wanted to put up, put up, ask the plaza, Basil asked that a plaza at Obama Presidential Center be named for civil rights leader John Lewis, who died last year. The center bring... The center being built in Chicago will include a library, a museum, an athletic center, and some and some other things. So he wants he wants President Obama to do that, and they said they will do that. They're gonna they're gonna put that that plaza up in honor of John Lewis, who passed away last year. He was um, a civil rights leader. He walked without the Martin Luther King. He fought for civil rights to the day he left this earth. He he spent many years in in the Congress. He was all he was there the whole time. He spent many many years on Capitol Hill. Um, fighting for the rights of people, and you know that's a good thing. So for for Jeff to to say, hey, I want to I want to do this now. I think that's amazing. I really do. 
he wants to honor him. Now, here's my thing. Now, we, we say this thing in our little world. We're going to give you your flowers while you're here, right? Gr appreciate everything that Mr. Lewis did, but it would be nice to have given him some of that stuff while he was here. Like, I, I understand people want to remember people, but how about helping them while they're here when they can, when, when they can enjoy it, <clears throat> when they can feel good about the work that they've done? <clears throat> we call it giving you flowers while you're here. And I love flowers, by the way, so I love them. Anyway, this is how rich Jeff, Jeff Bezos is. I didn't know he was this rich, right? His net worth is $207 billion. That's billion with the B. Yep, yep. Now, and this was this is Forbes Forbes put this out. They said his net worth is about two hundred and seven billion dollars. He's second only to Elon Musk. Elon Musk got more money. Elon Musk net worth is about three hundred billion dollars, and that's billion with the B. Billion with the B. So. I didn't know they were that that rich. I really don't. Now, what's crazy is, you know, Jeff Bezos and his wife got a divorce. So they got a divorce. And so far, she's given away $8 billion. So how much money does she have to give away $8 billion? <clears throat> My thing is, I, I, I think it's great what they're doing. Because for sure, you can't take the money with you. You're going to go on the ground and you're going to turn to dust and you're going to be on your way. Um, you can't take it with you. But anyway, they've donated a lot of money, and I just want to say, you know, that's a great thing. You know, that's that's a wonderful thing. All right, I'm going to the song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. Yeah, I'm tongue-tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded. Chasing after your ghost is real exhausting I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was Supposed to be love story No guts and no glory How did I get so dizzy thinking of you? I don't usually get like this It's something about you I miss Had that kiss Well I don't usually get like this Get like, get like this Get like this Get like this To catch it falling Instead I fell off myself And I just can't stop falling These wings are gonna flap for me If I keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting Keep waiting How did I get so dizzy Thinking of you I don't usually get like this it's something about you I miss Could it be we never had that kiss? I just wanna kiss you Well, I don't usually get like this Get like It's 
something about who I miss Could it be we never had that kiss? Yeah, I don't usually get like this Get like it, like this Kearney giving you the daily rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County and boy it is a, is it a lot going on right now so um Everton Blair was elected to the elected chair of the uh, Gwinnett school board and said you know what I'm not running for re-election nope he's not running now what will he do I don't know he hasn't said yet but right now the 29 year old who was elected in 2018 as Gwinnett school's board first black first openly gay and youngest ever member um, said, I'm not running. Now, there has been some speculations and questions asked, are you going to run for the state school superintendent? Um, and Blair, whom many Democrats view as a rising star, is uh, considering, they say, is considering it. You know, he is considering running. Will he run? We don't know yet. I don't know. I kind of believe he's going to run. <clears throat> I can tell you that this election cycle is going to be one for the books. There's going to be a lot going on for this election cycle because we just got a lot going on. Like, Everton has stepped down. He may run for the, the um, uh, state school superintendent you know he he has great credentials he's been in the education industry for a long time um so he has some good credentials you know not everybody like you, but it, listen not not everybody like you period so don't even don't, i don't even get caught up in that because you know until you till i get to know the person i have nothing against him i don't know him i have never met him you know maybe i will talk to him at some point but his credentials are, are, you know, Harvard University, master's degree from Stanford, you know, served on the, the Obama administration. Yeah, his credentials are hot. So he may run for that that position. I believe he may. I believe that could be why he's stepping down, but I don't know. So maybe I'll try to get him on Popcorn and Politics. Let's talk about it. And I will talk more about this on Sunday. Remember, Popcorn and po Politics come on every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can watch it live on LinkedIn. You can watch it live on Facebook. You can watch it live on Roku. If you have a Roku, uh, yes, we're live. So you can watch us live on all of those platforms and YouTube. So check us out. That's 1 p.m. every Sunday. Derek and I are talking to politicians, and we talk politics for like about an hour. So be sure to join in and check us out. Um, <clears throat> now, a lot is going on with the redistrict. We can't never say this. Redistricting. Redistricting. There's a lot going on, the way the lines have been drawn on the commissioner side, on the, on the Gwinnett commission side, on the state level. And so this coming um tonight, Gwinnett residents will have another opportunity this Tuesday to ask questions about redistrict, redistricting less than a week after the Senate um, senator, state senator temporarily walked back the bill. So the bill 5EX five five and, and 6EX were bills that said, you know what, our education system, our educated uh, board should be partisan. And they also said that they wanted to add five new commissioners to Gwinnett County. So Gwinnett County commissioners that said, you know what, we want you to come out the public to find out more about what does this mean for you. Now, I could tell you on the state side, I'm going to tell you exactly what it means. I don't know, but for us, it means adding five new commissioners, which means that if that happens, um, the, the Nicole of Hendrickson, who is our chairwoman, would not have that have power. Like it kind of strips her strips her of her power. That's what it does. And so, and then they said, you know what? If you're gonna do your own thing. We're gonna do our own thing. So they kind of snap back. Like, wait a minute now, hold up. If you're gonna do your own thing, we're gonna draw some lines. We're gonna create some stuff. So at that point, that's when um Clint Dixon said, you know what? Let me table this until the new year. So he tabled it to the new year. So I don't know how that's gonna roll out, but I can tell you on the state side. Oh, it's a problem. It is a problem, problem, problem. So, U.S. Representative Carolyn Bardot will face fellow Democratic Congresswoman Lucy McBath in a redrawn seven district next year. Yes. So, I'm finally understanding when they was like, when I heard, oh, they're going to redraw the lines. Now, I'm understanding. So, apparently, what happened was when the Republicans redrew the line, they redrew Lucy McBeth out of her district and merged it with parts of Carolyn Bardot's district, which is a lot of Gwinnett County. 
Lucy lives in Marietta, Carolyn lives in Swanee, and now they have to fight each other for the seven district seat. I think that sucks. And that's very strategic on their behalf because they want Lucy to get out because she's against gun violence because her son was killed in, in, because someone shot in the car because the music was too loud and he was sitting in the back seat. So she had a problem with that, and, and as she should be a mother and just, just been a good, decent citizen all together. Um, so she fights, you know, she fights for the gun people because of gun violence and they don't like that and they want her out. So they redrew her district, which puts her in a position to, to go against Carolyn Bardot, who has run for this position five times and she has finally won. Now she has to face Lucy. I don't know y'all. I don't know. Carolyn is a Gwinnett. She's a Gwinnetian. I get it. Um, she's a Gwinnetian. I get that. And Lucy is an African-American woman who had a child that was lost to gun violence. Now, that's going to be tough for a lot of us who vote in Gwinnett County. It really is. Because um, two, two amazing women. Two amazing women. I just feel like Carolyn is going to be the front runner because she is a Gwinnetian. And she has fought for that seat five times. Lucy, I get it, darling. I know you want to fight them, but you may have to find another way, babe. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real, y'all. We're going to talk about this more on uh, Popcorn and Politics on set on Sunday, one o'clock. Be sure to tune in live. Oh, I forgot to say, we we'll also stream live on America One Radio. So America One Radio, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Roku, streaming live. So be sure to tune in at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to talk more about this. Them freaking lines, man. Them lines messed up some stuff. I can't, yeah, this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be rough. It really is. Um... It is going to be real. Now, speaking of lines, on the flip side, on the flip side, Beth Moore, um, Beth Moore said, you know what? I'm going to run. I'm going to run for a new state Senate seat in Western Gwinnett. That was a new seat that was created because of the way they grew the lines. And that particular seat added seats to, to the Senate. And so she said, you know what? I'm going to run. She said, um, my decision to make a leap from the House to the state is one of the first changes in Gwinnett legislative delegation to emerge after the district's um, for both chambers and general assembly were drawn early this month. Gwinnett Senate delegation will expand from seven senators to nine senators. Meanwhile, the Gwinnett House delegation will expand from 18 members to 21 members, meaning Gwinnett County will be represented by a total of 30 legislators between two chambers. So she said, you know what? I'm about to throw my, my head in the, in, in the ring. I'm going to run. So, I mean, the lines, these lines, I feel like they're trying to put everybody in Gwinnett County. Is that what y'all tried to do? So, so all the boats will be here and then y'all can take over again. That's, I think that's what they're trying to do. I don't know y'all. Politics is, politics is, politics is serious. It really is. It's, it's serious. And you gotta, I like it though. I ain't gonna lie. I like talking about it. I like seeing what's going on with it. I like it, but it's serious. It is serious. It's cold outside. It is really cold. It's 39 degrees. And I imagine at nighttime, it's even colder. So Gwinnett, uh, Gwinnett officials are opening warming stations around the county. There are people that are homeless. They need to be warm. Because they're homeless don't mean they need to freeze to death. So Gwinnett County officials announced yesterday that five warming stations will be open when overnight temperatures drop to or below zero, below freezing this winter. The warming stations efforts was launched this week, but the stations will only be open when temperatures drop to 35 degrees or below overnight. Serving homeless residents or people with heating problems at their homes who would otherwise be exposed to frigid temperatures. Residents who visit the sites can warm up, eat a meal, and get some rest, um, county officials said. The county will announce the availability of the warming stations at GwinnettCounty.com and to local media outlets. So GwinnettCounty.com, so if you need to know where the local where the warming stations are going to be located, go to GwinnettCounty.com and you can find out there. It's cold out there. It really is. And we need to make sure that people don't freeze to death because they can. It's 39 right now and it's it's not, um, it's, it's, it's the daytime. So, you know, that's a good thing. Shout out to the Rotary Club of Duluth. Um, it fulfills its $50,000 commitment to the Duluth Library. Yep, kudos to you guys. They presented the Duluth Library with a check. So the Rotary, the Rotary Club of Duluth officially fulfilled a $50,000 commitment last week to augment the Duluth Library State of the Art Children's Room. Yes, that is beautiful. During their weekly meeting last week, the club presented a check for $10,000 to final of five installments made over five years to Jason DeFranco, a Duluth Rotarian who serves as the Director of Development and Community Relationships for Gwinnett County Public Library. So I want to give the Rotary Club of Duluth 
a round of applause for great work and just caring enough to make that donation. So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to I wanna play my last song. Then I'm going to come back and give you my words of inspiration. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you my word of inspiration. And here it goes. Be thankful for what you have. You'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never have enough. Let me say that again. Be thankful for what you have. You'll, you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you'll never have enough. Oprah Winfrey said that, and she was absolutely right. We get so caught up a lot of times in, in what we don't have. We forget to be thankful for what we do have. If you have your health, if you have your family, if you have a roof over your head, cars to drive, water, food, and clothing, you have a lot. They have to put up warming stations here in Gwinnett County because somebody don't even have heat. They don't have a roof over their heads and they don't have food. So be thankful for the things that you do have. No matter how small, if you can breathe through your nose right now, be thankful because somebody can't breathe through their nose right now. If you can see right now, oh, be thankful because somebody can't see right now. If you can touch, feel, taste, smell, and think in your right mind, be grateful and thankful. Somebody can't do that right now because somebody didn't wake up this morning or they didn't wake up with those abilities. So be thankful for what you have right now. If you got a car to drive, I don't care if it's a hoopy, be thankful because somebody's walking and they're standing at the bus stop and it's 39 degrees. You're not. Even if you ain't got no heat in your car, you ain't walking and you ain't standing at the bus stop. So be thankful. 
be thankful. I'm thankful for you guys for listening to me every day. I really appreciate you. Be sure to, to check out the show. If you miss any episodes of the show, go to goodmorningwithnet.com. If you want to support the show, click on support right there, and you can support the show and support what I do here. Um, thank you so much for listening. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 54 minutes with me, and I love and appreciate you for that. I look at my stats, and I see my numbers growing all around the world, so I know I'm touching, I'm touching ears around the world, and I hope that I'm doing you justice. So thank you for listening. Um, also be sure to follow me on Facebook at Good Morning Gwinnett. Follow me on Twitter at GM Gwinnett one, the number one, GM Gwinnett, the number one, and follow me on Instagram at Good Morning Gwinnett. If you listen to the show on Apple Podcasts, find your favorite two episodes, give it five stars, love, like, and subscribe to the show there, please. I thank you for that and share this show with your friends. I'll be back again tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow I will be traveling, but I'm going to try to make my, I'm going to at least try to come in and give the horoscope. So if I don't make it, guys, just know that I'm traveling and I'm thinking about you in my heart, in my spirit, in my mind. I'm thinking about you. Stay safe out there. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving if I don't talk to you until Thursday. And until next time, my friends, until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.